name is Janet. I'm the immediate past president of the chapter, and this is my last year on the board, and this is my last task um, in my for my job. Um, my committee is Maria White and Neely Stapleton, who I guess had to leave, um, so I want to thank them. Um, after our, the um, meeting is finished, if you have any questions, Maria and I will be happy to answer any questions for you. And please, we, we, we are looking for people to join the leadership of the chapter. Um, tonight I'm going to take a few minutes to speak from my heart. Um, I have been honored and privileged to spend six years on the board of this chapter. And it has been really, uh, it's, it's been a complete honor. Um, it, I get have gotten so much more out of it than I have given. Um, anybody who is new that I do any talk about, you know, joining leadership um, with the chapter, my advice to them, or my experience, I say to them, is that I waited about six months before I volunteered for something in the chapter when I first joined. And the, the best thing I ever did was volunteer, and the worst thing I ever did was wait that six months. Uh, if you want to start a business and you don't know what you're doing, the, everybody else in this room can help you. But they need to know that you're serious, and they need to know that you're, that you're ready to jump in. And I think you can do that by um, showing them that you want to lead. Um, okay, so we're going to do a little exercise tonight, and I would like everyone to get up and form a circle around the room. We are a chapter of 100, about 100 organizers and about 12 corporate partners. one of NAPO's largest chapters, but I want you to realize that in this room, you don't see, 100, you don't see 112 people. So I'd like to uh, thank the guests for coming, but uh, invite them to sit back down, because they cannot be a board member. Okay, and then I would like to tell the corporate partners that we love them very much, but they are also welcome to sit down the only position they can hold on the board is the director of corporate partners. So if any of them would like to run, that would be the only job they could have. Uh, all positions are open to any um, organizer, except you must be a member of the chapter for at least one year to run for president and at least six months to run for vice president. But up here you'll see the list of board members. So we have a plethora here. Uh, the immediate past president does not run. You have to actually be the president before you can do that. <laughs> and you'll notice at the very bottom, there's a director of administration. Um, that is a chapter position that NAPO has. Uh, we have just never chosen to have one. Um, as technology has grown, we have found a need that we need somebody that actually keeps an eye on that. So we are ha opening that as a possibility to run for that position um, this year. Okay, so look around the room. This is what's left. Um, I'd like the current board members to raise your hand. Okay, so I'd like to ask you to sit down as well. Now, current board members can run again. They can run for a different position. And I will tell you, some of them have said they want they want to run again. Um, so now we're looking at everyone else. We need to fill ten positions out of the people standing up. So I'd like the people who are standing up to raise their hand if they have been a board member in the past. Now. I'm going to invite you to sit down, but I am also going to invite you. <laughs> Quick. Um, I'm also going to invite you to consider running again because as you sit down, go ahead. Sit down. Go ahead. This is what we have left. We need to fill ten positions. <laughs> so 
done. <laughs> we got enough. So if you would consider, if you have a skill you would like to share with the chapter, if there's a skill you'd like to learn, I've got some, one of those positions, you would learn it. Please consider running uh, for a board position. Um, next. Um, this is the schedule for, uh, for the whole election. Um, I will be taking nominations until February 21st. Um, at our March chapter meeting, we will do kind of a meet the candidates, and it's going to be short and sweet. And um, then the elections will run the day after that chapter meeting for one week, and they'll be emailed to the members. Um, and then right after that, we will announce the election results, or I will. And you will not take your position, you will not start until May 15th, so you understand that you have two months time to learn your job from the person who's doing it now. So any any questions and yes? I don't have a question, but I do have something to say. Please. Even though I sat down eagerly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say that for those who are new organizers, if it wasn't for NAPO, I don't think I'd still be an organizer. If it wasn't for being on the board, I don't think I'd still be on the, in NAPO. So it's really, a bonding experience where everything comes together for you and you learn so much about the industry um, and about your fellow um, colleagues. So I, I highly recommend, I highly recommend it, especially if you're a new organizer and you don't think that because you're a new organizer you're not experienced enough to, to get involved. I think that's probably the best time to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Please have a seat.